Wiring the Lintec SS2 family of switches. In this video, you'll be learning how to connect the SS2 switch set to the following Lintec power delay sequencer. The PDS-10 series retrofit sequencer, or the MSLC series of sequencing load centers, or the MSP series of sequencing panel boards. Instructions for the PDS-10 series may be found inside the cabinet near the connection terminals. On the MSLC or MSP series panels, the wiring instructions are located in three places. A permanent label inside the low voltage cover, on the back of the panel schedule planner, or in the bag with the switch sets. Before we get started connecting switch wiring, Lintec recommends that you verify the operation of the system using the built-in test switches. These green and red test switches are located at the bottom of each sequencer circuit board. Start the on sequence by pressing the green button on the first circuit board. To sequence the system off, you press the red or off button on the last sequencer board. Now that you've verified the system is working properly, you're ready to hook up the remote control wiring. Interface wiring is terminated on the circuit board via cage clamp style connectors. Press the white lever toward the circuit board to open the jaws of the connector, then insert the stripped wire. The switches that come with every Lintec sequencer are a momentary single pole double throw type, offering a set of normally open and normally closed contacts. We'll be using the normally open contacts. Let's start with the on switch. Solder a wire to the normally open contact on the on switch. Connect the other end of the wire to the on terminal on the circuit board. Next, solder a wire from the normally open contact on the off switch. Connect the other end to the off terminal on the circuit board. Next, solder a wire from the positive contact on the on switch and connect the other end to the pilot terminal on the board. Lastly, solder a wire to pick up all the common connections for both switches. Common on the on switch, negative LED on the on switch, and common on the off switch. This common connection will land to the common connection on the circuit board. If a locking switch is to be used, like the one supplied with the SS2PL or SS2LRP, some additional wiring is required. Solder a wire to the negative LED contact on the on switch. Connect the other end of the wire to the common of the circuit board. Next, Solder a wire from both common contacts of the on and off switches to contact number 3 of the locking switch. Then solder a wire to contact number 1 of the locking switch. Land the other end of this wire to the common terminal on the circuit board. If multiple boards are used in the same sequence, connect the on switch to the first board and connect the off switch to the last sequencer board. Note, a wire jumper should be installed between the V-plus and V-minus terminals on the last board in a sequence. If there is no jumper installed, the on LED will not sustain at the end of the sequence. 